Interesting. Three concrete pillars in the middle of nowhere. I didn't think it would be like this. Hey guys, let's go crawl in here and find out for ourselves. Now mind you, this was always hidden. No one knew that this was here. I'm gonna have to stand here and relax for a second. I just freaking got myself lost. How the f do I do that? I'm starting the trail to find uh, two bunkers. One that is underground and the other that is leveled on ground. And I don't know which one we're gonna find first. Today we're on a trail in the middle of the woods, this forest area. This forest area is known as the Quahanna, deep in PA, Pennsylvania that is. We are looking for two bunkers, one that is in the ground and one that is above ground. Now these bunkers are something in history, which I'll dig more into. We are looking for not just any typical bunker, but we are looking for nuclear jet power bunkers. That's right, you heard me. The US government had actually purchased land around here back in the 1950s. And they fenced in 45 miles of it. So that way if something went wrong, then nothing will get outside. These nuclear jet testing sites was really something that was being looked into and studied in the 50s, but it was for the U.S. military. Deep in the Kohana Forest of Pennsylvania lies two abandoned nuclear jet bunkers. In the 1950s, the Curtis Wright Corporation looked for a large area of land to test nuclear-powered jet engines. This became an attempt by the U.S. government to find uses for the newly discovered nuclear power as part of President Eisenhower's Atoms for Peace program. The goal was to develop nuclear-powered jet engines for the United States Air Force so that fighter planes and bombers could stay airborne indefinitely without refueling. Curtis Wright purchased 80 square miles of land in 1955 to build a nuclear testing facility. The nuclear engine program was discontinued by the government in 1960, quickly ending the work that went on in the area. By 1967, the state purchased the land back. The jet engine bunkers are symbols to our brief past on the attempt betterment of war left behind. It's abandoned now, but we're, we're about to get on to a abandoned military site. Technically, yes, 10 years or so, the 1960s saw a decline in testing. And I'm in my shorts today, and this is the first time I'm ever walking in woods or technically this is forest and shorts and it's quite uh freeing you know i've never done it before you feel like the the grass hitting your legs it gives you that nice little itch feeling yeah i know pale is weird so let's try to find this site both of them and let's explore i don't feel like i, I can get lost but it's me. I'm here alone today. So I wanted to get this in. When I was coming down here, this is quite a trek to get here in the middle of nowhere. I've got no phone service. So no GPS system that can get me. And I am, I keep running into these cobwebs and it's freaking me out. I got a, a bit of arachophobia, but I'm doing this guys for you. It was some cloud cover that was coming this way. And it was concerning me a little bit, but I was like, you know what? Even if it does rain, storm, I'm still doing this because I'm a trooper. U.S. grade military trooper. Never once even joined the army. Vegetation's getting uh, quite 
uh, thick here and I got cobwebs over the camera, over me. Let's hope I don't have any spiders on me. We are in uh, the crux of a little swampy area here. Oh no. I gotta walk through that. Here we go. Oh no. No. Oh no, 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 no. How far does this go? Oh no, no, no. Oh. This thing's gonna kill me. Oh my god. Now my feet are wet. I went through a little swampy area back there. This is just part of the uh, Explorer, guys. If you're not prepared for where you can get into, well, there's gonna be a forest area or a swamp, and I just went right through one. Oh man, my sock feels all squishy. Oh, there's a couple things I didn't plan out, which was one, don't do explorers like this alone. This is semi-hunting season. You don't want to be uh, thought of as a deer or something. So anybody could be hunting in these woods. Make a mistake in me as a deer. And um, second thing, these are bunkers. They're old bunkers. They've been around for decades. And when you're doing this by yourself, well, I'll explain that to you after I'm done exploring them. Because uh, I don't want to jinx myself. These are what you call exploring highways. Actually, that's a good name for it. Exploring highways. Or your trail system here. I like to go two different ways. So I'm going to go this way. Concrete must be for... Uh, something must have been here once. That or the road. Oh, look. So yeah, there used to be something here. Because look at this. There's another one there too. Like these little tracks. And a pipe. So something's definitely here. Never trust the living. Hate the living, love the dead. It's a misfit song. But there's like a pool. A swamp area or something. Don't know what the function that would have been or if something would have been here at once. There's nothing down beyond that way. So, so far, this is my first time looking for a bunker. Now, from what I've, from what I understand, the one bunker should be, you should be able to see it. It's like this large concrete-like building. So far, I don't see anything, but the other one, uh, I don't know. I see another path to the road here. See where that leads. Oh, what's this? It's like concrete uh, pillars. Interesting. Three concrete pillars in the middle of nowhere. Wait a minute. Underground bunker. Of course. <laughs> I'm an idiot, but that's okay because this, but this is my first time exploring one. And I want to imagine this mound right in front of me. I bet you anything, that's the underground bunker. Right here. How it just goes up like a hump here, like a hill. So let's go over there. Man, I keep getting spider webs. Let's go over here and uh, check this out. Oh, guess what I found? Holy crap. I found it. I didn't think it would be like this. Oh man, look at that. 
Hey guys, let's go crawl in here and find out for ourselves. Get a backpack here. Sweet. Now that we're in. Oh, I can't really see too much. But let's get down there. How do I? Oh, there's steps. Okay, cool. That's pretty. It's so hard to get a ladder when it comes to carrying a camera. It's a whole new art. But let's look at this, guys. Look. You have one of the exit and entrances here. No idea what that is. Or watch where I'm stepping. Oh, this is sick. No idea what these are, but they're slats. That might have been ventilation. Or lights. Not for sure. All I see is a freaking creeper spider. Spider creeper. Look at all the rivets in here. Another one of these contraptions. Well, that slides, slits. I was like beehives or something. They're trying to be beehives. Got pipes. Something to do with it. I mean, it may not be much. It's collapsed a little bit there. Those are people trying to start fires in here as well. Little contraption for the middle. Will you be my friend? Yes, I will. I mean, you might see much. There's like four walls on the ground, just like on the ground. But you gotta imagine, you gotta use your imagination on this one. Back in the 50s, this was a big deal. And I'm in it. Another thing of history that I'm actually in. It's really cool. Now again, I wouldn't uh, advise you guys to do this alone by yourselves. Always have someone with you. Because uh, many things could happen. You get ambushed because that's the only way you get out. Or concrete could suddenly fall. This whole thing could collapse. I'm in it and, you know, no one will be able to find me for quite a long time, so you guys gotta be careful when traveling alone. You know, I've been nervous about this part, which is actually why I'm talking, that any moment this thing could collapse, because it is decades old. 70 years old, I'd say. I love the echo in this. Just love the echo. Echo! What do you want, Becker? Somebody had times on our hands. Hello, nurse. Jesus knows. Look. I'm not looking. I don't want to know that I'm here. Back up the ladder and go. I hope you guys are going to see a buck coming out of here. See you guys in here or something. Cool. Alright, far out. So, I see that was a success. Like I said, I was worried on my trip up here because of that. If that collapses, Nobody would have known where I was. Only my car is like miles away from me right now. I didn't want that to happen, but it didn't. It didn't. So let's continue. So far, two good things. No foreign bushes and no poison. I am highly allergic to poison. Let's find the other bunker.
So as I'm on my way out of here from the last um, bunker, I cannot seem to find my way out of these forest. I mean, this road keeps going and going. And you would have thought that if I followed this long enough, I would be somewhere. And guess what? I'm still nowhere. And I don't have any service. Nothing. I don't know what... I don't know if I should be going that way or if I should be going that way. Like, I don't know. Like, you would think there's a path. And I, I, I just don't... <sighs> That's just wonderful. No way I can make a phone call. No way I can tell anybody where I'm at, what I'm doing, because I don't have any service. And I'm in a freaking forest by myself, freaking alone. I just, I keep putting myself in these predicaments. I don't know if you could tell by my voice, but I, I am, I'm feeling a little stressed. Just a little. Neighbor. Oh my gosh, what will Wilbur do in this situation? I'm making no sense. I mean, I thought I came from there. Let's freaking find out. So guess what PLE had to go do? I'm a man, right? I could find my own directions, get off the path that was going nowhere. And I might as well just find myself just in the freaking woods, deep in the freaking forest, all by myself. I keep iterating that, but yeah, I'm by myself. I don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing. But I thought if I go north, am I even going north? I don't freaking know. Holy crap. Shit on a stick and now I'm hearing like wildlife. That's just great. That's just wonderful. I don't know if it's, I don't even know if it's even hunting season. I'm gonna have to stay in here and relax for a second. I just freaking got myself lost. How the f do I do that? Don't panic, PL. You don't panic. You're gonna be all right. For f sakes. I couldn't have brought Shetty along to this one. Nope, because I want to do this one myself. Uh, sure, I'm gonna be okay, they say. Sure, I'm not going to get lost because I'm a man, they say. Oh, God, my cardinal directions. I don't even have a compass. I don't even know which way the sun's even setting. I don't... I'm going to have to keep looking. I don't know. Maybe this way? To find out. All right, here's a path. I see another path. Oh, which way do I go? Again, it's all these old roads, and I don't know where the hell they go. Okay, guys. Update. I am good. I'm okay. I know where I'm going now. That was scary. I do not want to do that one again. I'm going to have to buy a compass this time next time and uh yeah so i'm on the right path i believe and we're gonna go find that bunker let's get back to it big ass mushroom with a daisy right next to it so you may ask how it's how sometimes or in this case it's so easy uh to travel down to where i'm going in this forest because it it's a legit forest well these here this right here are intersections to old roads. So I'm not for sure if there was more than two bunkers, um, most likely, but um, there are two left over that they had saved, preserved. So this forest, uh, Kohana, was saved uh, from the loggers when the logging industry was taken out tons of woods and tons of forest and someone actually bought the property a lot of it and 
saved what is now the Kohana Forest. Now a disclaimer. I'm hoping I'm saying the name Kohana right. Uh, there are some misspellings that I actually, or some things I mispronounce. So if you want to come at me in the comment section, well, by all means, make fun of me. But uh, I'm just giving you guys everything I can in real time. And uh, I'll leave in the good stuff too at times. Like someone had commented from one of my videos over two years ago that they like that I keep it real when I mispronounce something like ivory and ivy. I saw ivy inside of a building, inside of a home, and I said ivory. And oh my God, someone had a field day with me on that. So I didn't know what I was talking about, what I was doing, and I shouldn't be doing stuff like this because I pronounced, I mispronounced ivy. Really, true story. I tell you, if you're out here in the dark, walking down this, I've been around here before I drove through this area before um, when it was going to dusk. And uh, it's pretty creepy. It gets really dark. Dark fast. And one more thing I didn't mention, which I should have thought about before I left to come here, which is another reason why if you're coming here, especially um, if you're alone, that's going to probably have to be a no-go because there's a state correction facility a couple miles down and if an inmate escapes well yeah he's got plenty of woods but uh you never know and i did see them out and about just huddling in a line with uh you know state troopers around them and everything the guardsmen and they stopped and they all looked that was weird very weird always bring someone with you don't do what i do when i'm alone but uh, hey, I'm keeping it real, right? This bunker is not underground, so I'm not so worried now because I got the hardest one done first. And just in case someone else is living in it. And for the other fact that it's a, it's a bat um, sanctuary for bats. So I had to watch all that. There's a lot of things to watch if you're walking in the woods alone or something. So just really be careful. Yeah, we're coming up on the end of this path here, this road from the 1950s. And we should be coming up on the other bunker, which is above ground. And I really can't wait to see this one. Got like a little stream that's following us here. In case I need some dirty water. I'm not a survivalist. Not yet. Not for a long time. This road goes down further than what I thought. And hey, all the good stuff is actually worth looking for. Okay, so I'm coming up on a opening. So that means we're getting close. Just only guessing, but uh, my hunch of abandoned is that path. Let's go check out. Something is there, and I think that's it. This is the other bunker. Pretty tall for a, a little bunker. Now, mind you, this was always hidden. No one knew that this was here. Oh, it's crazy. Can't believe that door's still open, which is good. Swain's open. Here's the other one. It's much like the other one that we just saw that was underground. With all this here, not for sure what that is. And ventilation system, I'm guessing. More pipes, but this one's a little bit different. I have no idea what this is. What I want to believe is that someone built these little slat, um, these little uh, wooden slats here. 
I think they're trying to make a beehive out of it. Or if anybody knows what that could be, actually, let me know. This is, uh, it's newer, of course. That wasn't here back then. Again, look at all the rivets into the, uh, the ceiling. Todd and Sarah, no, never again. Cause tonight's the night I fall for you over again. Well, let's see what this is. Yeah, goes down a little bit. I got a car battery in there. Some whiskey bottles. An ultralight. Yeah, party, party, party. I hate light beers. Oh. Again, I would love to know what these are. I don't know. No, no, no. This is a little different. Versus the background, it goes upwards instead of down. And a window here. My foot was like a hook. It looks like there used to be lights in here. Like an electrical system. Just like the Baltimore Catacombs, they had one of these things. Dylan, Bob Dylan. Again, it's one of these contraptions. So that really leads me to believe that the other one and the underground bunker, that's kind of new from that one as well. Let's go around the circumference, got it, of this and see if we're missing anything. But so far, let's see, I'm six foot tall. That's a good 10, 12 feet. Yeah, I'd say about 12. Okay, so where that star is, that's an awesome star. It's like a sad, hardy star. You see the little ventilation there. OSS is back, baby! Oh look, more of the pipe that would actually be either inside or outside of the uh, facility. It's got some kind of a uh, latching mechanism, it looks. It looks like an old bomb shelter, doesn't it? Johnny, if you just stumbled upon this just out of the blue, it'd be a little frightening, would it? Wondering what the hell this is doing here in the middle of the woods. Mom's what? Mom's what? Ma say it. What is it? Mom's what? Say it to me in my face. Mom. My God. My God. Moms love me. But they do, sir. But they do. But I'm getting smart. PLE, maybe. He, he may say dumb things, but it's very smart when it comes to putting things together. Maybe. Don't judge. Oh. Took one last look around and I see these. This was a really cool explorer. It took me some time to find this stuff. Oh my God, and getting lost, that was a little scary. That was a little scary. I'm gonna have to get a compass now after this incident today. So that's it. That is all for the nuclear jet power site, that is. I can't say that three times fast, don't ask me to. This is now my walk back. And we've seen it, we've explored it. And that's totally awesome. I love doing stuff like this. It's 
especially when you have to work for the Explorer. I love it. It's definitely a payout in the end. Like I said, guys, if you know where I'm at, if you're in the, if you're in the area, just be careful between a correctional facility miles up the road. These buildings are old. These old bunkers are old. They could collapse any moment. They are decades old, as well as this is a national forest. You will watch out for wild animals and definitely watch out for anything you could uh, involve yourself in that could be uh, make sure people know where you are. I'm glad I got to see this. Glad I get to show you guys this and you can explore through my eyes because I enjoy doing stuff like this. So you guys, thanks for coming along for the journey. I'm on my way back to the car and I will catch you guys on the flip. Peace. Thank you.